What's up guys, welcome back to Planet Zoo. Your boy is back from his weekend away. Went back to the hometown. But we are now in Planet Zoo and my goodness, things are looking most, most wonderful right here. Um, there was a new patch which came with the Arctic update which released four new animals. And those animals are right here. The polar bear, the Arctic wolf, the reindeer, and the, and the dal or dal, dal sheep. I don't know. So uh, we had a look at them. I actually saw two pretty good polar bears on the market, so I copped them. I then realized that these guys need a habitat area of 16,000 meters squared. For comparison's sake, this is 20,000 um, 20, meters squared. So it would need to be like almost that big. So another huge enclosure, which I'm not too keen on building right now. So we're either going to sell back our uh, polar bears or just kind of hold on to them until we can be able to build them in enclosures. So it's going to be for reindeer. Or the, uh, the, what do you call it, the other ones that I want to build the enclosure. And what I want to do is I want to have it fit back to back here. So this is like a little arctic area. So I want, ideally, an enclosure that's going to be slightly bigger than this one. Why are you in a box? Get out the box. Um, how much space do you have? You have, in your environment, coverage is a bit too much, but you're fine with it. Uh, you have, okay, a thousand meters squared. So something that ideally needs like 1500 or so. Would be very nice for us right here. Also, we've got an objective for the series. It is literally to get a five-star zoo reputation. Once I've done that, I'm, I'm happy with, you know, my success in this series. And that may be kind of like our final, final goal. Also, look, one patch and the safari's working its way, which is fantastic. So we do need to look into gas, security and stuff. But getting one of the Arctic animals, definitely think it's something worth doing. Now, one thing we could also consider doing, it's probably actually not a good idea, is I could look into marketing. Loads of people have been saying, do a marketing campaign. Um, I don't know where you actually do that. But yeah, we need to work on hunger and thirst as well. There's no crime in the zoo, which is nice. Two pickpockets last year. Oh, great. Um, I'm not sure where you actually go into marketing. Is it finances, marketing? Gee, so we could really, really, we could go all out on the marketing. And we could bump up this gas, but actually that just means we need more gas facilities. I mean, we're making millions, literally. So we're big chilling. All right, let's get my conservation credits in the house. And then let's, uh, let's work out which of these animals we're getting. So it's between snow leopards or arctic wolves. Then he's not, it's not escaped though, has it? Well, you've, 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 you've not escaped, have you? How... Well, how is this escape then? No, no, no dangerous animals escape. Oh, wait. He hasn't escaped. He hasn't escaped. But you know what? Let's do an emergency capture on him. Deary me. Well, that's all my people gone. Bye. Won't miss you. Um, Alright, well, so which animal? I mean, for a laugh, let's... What, what advertising do we like? Oh, let's get some viral videos going for the, for the lols. Auto-renew that. So that's going to get more people, not that we particularly want more people. Now the animal trading. Let's see, the Arctic Wolf, how much land do you want? Let's check the Zoopedia. Natural habitat. There we go, 1,100 meters. Although, Arctic Wolves next to Snow Leopards. It's not the most exciting. So maybe, maybe we go for the reindeers. We just need to wait for them to come up on the market. On the animal trading market. There's another polar bear up with relatively good stats. But I think we're going to go for some reindeer, actually, in this space here. So let's get a path in place right here. So I'm going to I'm gonna have it kind of, like, extend off here. Let's actually look at where the negative effect on gas is. Make sure we're kind of steering around that. We can always use this as a natural curve to follow. Actually, you know what? We should actually probably have it come out like this. Take this off. Again, I don't actually know. Oh, it's all kicking off now, isn't it? Look, these guys, what's your social issue? Why are you stressed? Just move away from the people. Oh boy. And then, all right. And then, are you stressed too? I mean, the people are pretty far away. I, I don't know, they'll, they'll sort themselves out. It's not a big deal. I just need to look at how much land the reindeers need. So, on the animal trading. 
Doesn't matter what you need. Right, let's go on the Zoopedia. Let's go on the... I mean, it's, it's Christmas is almost here. Some reindeer definitely seems fit, fitting. Reindeer need... Oh, 370. So, yeah, we can make a nice little cute habitat here. Very nice. Very nice, if you ask me. There we go. Bang. We can give them a funky little habitat that kind of fits in here. We can almost start building it. Why are you in a box? How did you end up in a box? Nobody knows. Um, so, barriers. I think what we're going to do is... We should be able to actually just link off this. No, you can't. You have to put them edge to edge, don't you? So we will have to start our new enclosure right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of some of this foliage here. Some of these pipes that span off really far away. Just so we can tuck in closer around this building. And then we'll get going. Why well, I put a bit of some mountains in the safari? I mean, safari, uh, savannas are usually quite flat, so I don't really want to put that in there. You know, now that it's night time, it's a great time to work on lighting. I'm sorry, guys, I'm switching from one thing to the next very quickly, but it seems like a good time to get some new lights in. Some African-themed lamps here seem like a good idea. In fact, let's, let's put those in right there, that would be a bit neater. There we go. There's lighting on there. If you get some sort of lighting arch here, maybe. See if we've got anything funky that we can use. I mean, a lot of these are buildings that include lighting. Oh, yeah. You know what? That comes with lights as well, right? Aha! Just, just little things. That makes the safari entrance a bit nicer. Let's get some lighting on this left side. I mean, I guess we have to kind of... That looks a little bit different. We could have one of those either side of this building. Just space these out here. Just add a bit of decoration to the area. You know what? I might use these the whole way, actually. Make this a kind of theme for the area. Put a lamp on a lamp. Yo, dog, I heard you like... Yeah, I feel like those don't... Actually, those need to be in, like, a more kind of neat area. These are quite nice just to kind of drop in the middle section and not worry too much about them being all regimented and neat. We do need some lighting up here. We've got to sell off one of the aardvarks. This is the problem with me now pressing players. There's so many animals. I'm constantly, constantly checking up on them. Animal management, the aardvarks. It's going to be the baby aardvark. You are getting released to the world. I'll take my 360 credits. Woof. All right, why have you got low welfare? It's because you're stressed. But All right, let's just move you over there. Got these guys at 20,000. If you're hungry, there's not a lot I can do. I've got them at 20,000 square meter enclosure. And they're, they're going to... Look, he's filling up food over there. Do I have to, like, manually move these... I've almost made this enclosure too big, so I have to move these guys to the food. Alright, you should be fine now. Your stress is going down, isn't it? There you go. You're going to eat. We've created a bit of a disaster there. Back to lighting. So one thing also, I know I had information boards up here, but they're not close enough to the habitat. The new update meant that they weren't active anymore. Which is a shame. Oh, game freezes. We hate those. Okay. How much did Santa's sleigh cost? Nothing, it was on the house. Sometimes, you glance over the chat and you really you really see some gems in there. You know, should I just sell a load of these animals? Alright, so, what have we got too many of? There's too many springbok in this house. Oh like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's release... Okay, you can only get... Oh, it's because... Wait, no, it'll be an... Ad oh, wait, you're a young adult, yeah. Unless I just release you to the wild. Don't get much for those guys. Is that that issues? Oh, my... They're all going to die. There's food! Right there, mate. Those keepers are, are on a schedule here. 
Get some more easy conservation credit. Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo. I don't know why I've been cutting about in my zero every day since I made it. Alright. Some zebra researching. You know what, let me see if I can get them. I can give them better food now. Okay, so let's give. They're on grade two. You can, let's get you on grade two. So on grade one, zebras, we can get you on grade two. Okay, let's let's uh, let's make sure we're researching for everyone. All right, Claire, let's get you researching for the Ostrite now. Should probably put in another vet hut, just so I can get another vet on the research flex. Um, okay, facilities. Star facilities. What's it called? It's called. What is it that she researches in? I forgot what it's what it what the building is. It's a, oh, it'll be a research center. I mean, a large research center would probably solve a lot of issues. Okay, so that is in the exact right spot. I'm just trying to find somewhere. I mean, I guess this can be literally anywhere. Can't see because it's so dark. I could just slam it in there. I know it doesn't look very nice. I'll get a nice shell for it though. No guests should go there, so that should be fine. Right now, let's get a shell for it. Oh, that comes with the building. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that actually. Then facilities. Let's put in. Oh, diseased animal. It's, it's tough. I, you know, actually, I could just get. So, yeah, you can't have the small. They don't have any wraps for the small vets, I don't think. So, what I can do is I can put one of the glass houses here. Place it down like that. Down like that. Then delete that. Then get a vet research center small. Drop it in there. Change the path to the right stuff and we're good. Stuff path this up. What important alert. Ah! Alright. Okay. You've not escaped. I refuse to believe that. Alright, you. You're getting quarantined, I guess. I guess you're getting quarantined. Um, pathways. There we go. Connect that in. Okay, so now... What I can do is I can get Gerard researching stuff for the spring box. And let's see if we can level up Christopher. Where is he in the vet life? What is going on? We, you, you, you've just not escaped. What's going on? Oh, these guys are all starving. But there's food in their enclosure. There should be. Oh, no. I don't know what I'm supposed... You know what? Add more feeding things. Because then the, 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 the dude will just be constantly filling their feeding troughs. Like... Okay. Food trough lies. That's what these guys... What do you guys eat from? I mean, these guys eat from food cages, so let's give them another food cage. Oh, the game's not enjoying this. Give them another food cage there. I've got three keepers assigned to this place. Oh, no, you know, you know, why don't I just, you know, I'm just going to get rid of a load of these guys. There's too many of them. There's just too many animals in here. All right, five giraffe. There's, there's too many. Why do you all have, like, the same name? 
I mean, okay, let me see, see if, if I add more large food trays. Maybe, maybe. Alright, spring pot. You guys eat from large. I mean, like, there's one, two, three, four. Maybe I should put them all in the same area near the entrance. But then it seems like they struggle to work out how to move across them. We've got a food issue here. A food, big food meltdown. Alright, let's just, let's just... Let's see. Call keeper to habitat. There we go. Let's just give it a bit of time. Why is the iguana half? Oh my goodness. Call keeper. To... Oh, it's all falling apart. Why are you guys at the door? I don't understand. Oh no. <laughs> Let's just let's just ignore that problem. How many iguanas are there? There's only two because they're the two females. However, there's going to be a bajillion anacondas in here. I bet. Oh. All right, let's get you out of there. Um. Do I even want like new? I might honestly do what I did before and just ha end up with, like, two of the same gender in there. Just because. Also, my animal storage. I've still got these polar bears. Can I put them back up for trade? Just because I don't want to build, like, a massive enclosure right now. Okay. Apparently, I can't trade them. Apparently, an animal's escape, but again, they can't escape. Won't let me trade these guys. Can I just release them to the wild? No, I can't do anything with them. These guys are all dying of starvation. Because my keepers just don't seem to be... Right, where... Uh -huh. I don't understand why multiple keepers can't work at once. Right, are you going to go and put some food in? Can you go and put some food in before they all die? Please. Crying out loud. He's not even putting food down. He's the only... Wait, are you doing anything? Are they both working at the same time? Do I need another? Ah. Upgrade your staff. How do you do that? I'm going to look at it and work that out. Perks. Ah. Ah. I see. You can only have like one of those at once. I might as well just pick random ones of those right now. Um, I think they're eating because the messages have gone. I don't know. Up the food quality, not for you guys, but the ostriches. I'm just hoping that will keep them going for longer. Oh, that's some expensive feed, but if it keeps them going... And they're probably eating too much, so some of these are just getting. Some of the ostrich are getting. Right, we've got too many buffalo, too many ostrich. Whichever I can release to the wild, they're just, they're just, they're just going now. I'll, I'll take my 19. Take what I can get. Let's get rid of some ostri. Alright. Can you... Alright, you can... You can't go, you can go. Look at that. Great conservation energy. Okay, can you... No. Just looking for any that I can release here. Alright, off you go. This is literally like a conservation point farm. Honestly, in... <laughs> In hindsight, I would have never built this safari because it's so many animals to handle. <laughs> Alright, off you go. Goodbye. And it seems like everything's back somewhat under cover, under control. Okay, so now I want to look. I was in the middle of building a thing for my reindeer. and You know, let's build a reindeer exhibit. Let's just hope everything else stays on the level while we do this. Animal trading, we got any reindeer? A lot of polar bears, that reindeer... Decent stats on the reindeer. That's what we want. Yeah. So, right, we've, we just need a male reindeer at some point. But now let's start building the enclosure. 
Okay. You know what? Let's build them. Nice wooden enclosure. Let's make these shorter. Um, oh, it's only brick that you can have curved, but I think I like the idea of just having a low wooden fence that just kind of mirrors across. Don't know what happened to that snow leopard there. We can shorten this down. Make it fit in this little area. This is where the viewing is going to be. It's going to be down this side. It's a bit longer. You know what I am going to do? I'm going to cut it short there. And then we can get some sort of like facilities in that little space there. Because these guys, like I said, they don't need too much room. This should be enough for them. There we go. That creates a nice little fit. Yeah, I dig that. Um, okay. So this is going to be their little en enclosure, I think, terrain-wise. Let's see what the animal actually wants. I'm going to pause right now as well. Animal storage. So, let's see. Zoopedia. Do you need much water? No actual swimming water requirement. You need it to be cold, that's about it. We live in pretty big groups. Pretty cool animals. Okay, so. Let's get on the terrain. Let's do something a little funky here. Do you know what would have been good in hindsight if I've like connected up these mountains so it's like the fence goes through? Because I don't like it kind of starting from flat. I mean, it would be really a lot of work to do. I could do it. I could actually link that terrain. I think it would look a lot more natural if I do that. So, here we go. This is a lot of work to do, but we're going to link up this terrain here in these two enclosures. Oh, me lights. Rip me lights. I'm going to link that to that terrain. Alright, let's get rid of the floaty lamps. Terrain. Because then I can, yeah, I think this looks a lot cooler. So it's almost like a, yeah, a terrain merge. I just paint over this with, for now, let's just paint over with rocks. I just hate seeing the damn grass. Oh, I might have messed up their terrain a bit, but hey. I just think that looks a lot cooler. We'll see how it all transpires kind of down the line. But now we can even do a bit more here. Uh, painting. That's going to melt, but we'll get it sorted down the line. Okay, so now... We'll have to edit the height of this. And we need these to be shorter. I don't know what segment these are. Ah, a six meter segment. Right, let's just have this as it was. Now I just grab this. A bit more natural. Cool. And now we again continue this. Up and over. And that looks that looks a little bit better. It looks like the actual park has some kind of has it has its own like little bit of terrain here and that's why I've chosen to make this the area for those animals. You know what I might do now is I might actually Oh wait, let's push this down. Pull it up a bit further here. 
Although, actually, I've got to think about where I'm going to put their, their, their living space. Probably maybe this end. Or I could actually, I could have it backed out here. Though we need to think about it being... Okay, you know what? You know what, actually, I'm going to go back to how it was before. I think that was actually a bit more natural. You know, I think we'll work with something like this, potentially. I don't know. Let's go on the animal market, see if there's any... Any reindeer up for grabs? Nothing. Okay. Well. Um... I think, honestly, we're going to put the... Uh, I don't want to put the reindeer in until I've got two, just because it's going to be... It's going to be sad about it. Right, let's look at habitat. Let's look at different shelters. Want an arctic shelter. Let's see if we've got anything good on here. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is a shelter now. That's a bit big. Okay, arctic shelter. Oh, this is very cool. I like that a lot. And that adds real kind of decor to the park. I'm thinking I would, I would flatten it there and have that in this kind of this end. So that's their like little sheltered area. Then you've got viewing on this side and this side here. I think that's what we're gonna do. So terrain, let's get this on. Flatten it to foundation. A bit small with the brush. We'll see if we can fit it in on this end here. Let's now smooth this out. Okay. I think this could be a V cool. Yeah, that fits almost perfectly there. Let's just drop it. Look at it from above. Drop it in like that. You know what I'm even... I think this is not going to become navigable space. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit the barriers. Just to kind of cap that at the back. And again, we can get like a toilet in there. Um, or a little shop or something. Terrain. And let's get all that. Annoying long grass. You know what I can do actually. There's a way I can. There's a way you can disable auto paint. Is that what we want to do? Does that? I don't know if that does the trick. I see. So where there's not long grass. Yeah. Okay. That's what I've needed to do all this time. Oops. Sometimes it's the simple things. All right, let's I'll terrain that back. So that should be all their shelter. And then we want to put bedding in there. There we go. Beautiful. That is very cool. This is the perks of unlocking everything. You can get cool stuff like that. And it just really adds to that exhibit now. Obviously, we've still got a long way to go. One way to go, indeed. I could have, like, connected it to the edges of the exhibit, but I like I like that kind of look. All right, animal trading. Tell me you got some, some deals for me. Hello? Can I get some rain? I think it's, like, it's, like, desynced from the, like, the market right now, which is a little weird. All right, let's play in real time for a sec. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna put the prices up even before people even complain about them being too low. Yeah, okay, we're offline. Damn it, so I can't buy any animals right now. We'll wait till we're back online. These guys, these guys seem to be having more fun now. They're actually getting their food somehow. It's not escaped. It's just, you know what? That's how we keep our population under control. Look at that. That is a mess. I wish that wasn't a glitch. I wish that was... I, I was hoping that would be fixed in this patch. Just checking on how these shops are doing. They're doing pretty good. That's a nice little bit of decor for the area. I think this will be quite nice. Once we can get the animals into it. Alright, here we go. Looking for some reindeer, please. No, no reindeer on the market. A lot of polar bears. No reindeer. Ah, there's, there we go. Female reindeer. Dot. Perfect. Right now, let's move you into where you need to be. 
Oh, wait, I've got two female reindeer. Oops. It's a male reindeer we need. And the, the market has disappeared again. Well, while we wait for the market to come back, what we can do is we can take a look at my guest happiness. Let's look at guest education as well, actually. We've got a long way to work on this. What's up here? What's wrong with these? Oh, they're not showing anything. All right, let's get some of these on. Some things. Uh, West African lion. Oh dear. See, it's like the boy who cries wolf. No, you might, you probably actually have, you actually have escaped. I forgot to, I always forget this. I always forget to redo those walls. Set keepers are uh, only doing food so they're not all cleaning. Okay, I will try that. Uh, let me grab this new barrier. Yeah, let me put the non-climbable on both sides. Okay, see that is a real case of an animal escaping. But he's going to get moved back inside. No trouble. Alright, let me go. Let's see if I can sort this on the staff front. So, my safari gang, you. Train you up a bit more as well. Employment. Ah, uh, okay. So, if I just set him just to feed, that could work better. So, that's one safari on just feed. I'm going to set you as well. Good call, good call. I didn't know you could do this. Climate, let's set you just to feed. So there we go. So that will keep those two. And the others can do a bit of everything. That should be fine. I might just go through and just bump everyone's salaries a bit. In fact, I'll do that in my own time. That's a bit tedious to do. Just keep everyone trained up. You know we only accept the best staff in the business out here. I'm going to get back to the education front. My park rating has actually gone up despite all the starving animals and all that shenanigans. Appreciate all the tips in the chat as well. I see you guys. Okay, what's, what's the deal now? You're stressed. Alright, you know, I'm moving your toys away. Let me, let me, take, let me take this. Let's move this like... Away from this edge. It seems like they're getting really stressed when they're over by this edge. Let's move this over to here. Just so they're a bit further away from the people. Like, Sorry, we're going to... You've not escaped. Shush yourself. Taking it with the food. Over here. We've lost all the food, but it's fine. Uh, you've, you've, you've not escaped. Oh wow. Oh wow, he's got himself under the floor. And I was gonna fight these for overcrowding. Oh my goodness, I can't hit play. Oh my zoo, because just carnage just breaks out. Right, I should move all these stressed ones out of the way. Alright, you're all stressed. Because you're too close to the people. See, why are you not stressed? Let's move this too, just a little further away. Alright, let's just hope everything goes back to normal now. Some vet research. Um, what's Claire on right now? Let's get off the ostrich onto the sable antelope. Apparently, you can you can have multiple research in one room. Alright, you're stressed. You're stressed. You're getting unstressed though. You're overcrowded, so let's get on. Let's get you some good food as well. Alright, so what's the deal? I think we're going to sell this young snow leopard. Oh, wow, we've got two young adults, so... Oh, we had twin male young adults, so this is easy conservation points. Oh, my goodness. Conservation for days, haters. So, yeah, we can get some good animals here. Out with you as well. Alright, conservation points stack up. All right, let's just move you to the other side where you're not going to be stressed. You're getting unstressed now. All right. Okay. Whew. Animal trading. Looking for a male reindeer. Anyone got a male reindeer on the market? 
No. To be fair, at this point, I can move these guys in because they won't be too fast on their own. Oh, wait, I need a gate on this enclosure. That would help. Barriers. Let's put a... Not a guest gate. And a habitat gate. Probably put it right by their entrance. Where do we want this to be? Do we want it right on... No, we'll have it. Have it right here is fine. We can now move that to the middle. Okay, now the animal storage. Move you. There may be a bug with the game right now. Because I'm not able to do anything with any of these... The stored animal, which is stored animals, which is worrying. Maybe in the, I hope in the new patch they didn't bug it, so we can't have new animals because that would be. We can't move them into a park because that would be a disaster. People still, you know what? I think they patched it so members of the public don't walk down there. That's good. Okay. Well, well, while we wait to try and hopefully get those in there, let's look on gas needs. So everyone's pretty happy. Energy's pretty good across the board. Hunger, I mean, it's many of the people in the queues for food places. Hungry and thirsty, so let's get some more food and drink in. Get on facilities. Let's go on guest facilities. What have we got in the food realm now? I don't have anything, like, super fancy as you do. I haven't really... Oh, yeah, that food court is massive. We've, we've discovered this. What is the... Oh, is that just... All right. Facilities. We need something new. I mean, we have, what is this? This is food and drink here, just no one's going to it. What shop is that? Oh, that's the information, a hot dog. No one's really going there. Okay. You've somehow got us trapped at the door. I mean, how can I work out what the correct ratio is? There's about 7 million Springbok in here. Let's just release some spring rock to the wild and hope it's all good. I guess actually releasing the males is probably going to be the smarter option here. So many animals in my zoo. Oh, you know what? We need to we need to get rid of all of these guys. That's animal trading. Wait, how do I get rid of all those anacondas? I just... Alright, so they've all gone into the... This, the... Open exhibit trading. Okay, you need to get sold out of here. I mean, you get a bit of money from these guys, but... We don't really, don't really care about that, do we? In breeding program? Oh, breeding program. So how many anacondas are back in here now? We've got a male and female. It's almost worth, yeah, literally doing this. Just having two of the same gender. Oh, actually, no, you know what I can do? Actually, I'm going to do this now. Let's uh, give you some contraceptives. So then we can't, we, we don't have more of those because those are just annoying. I don't even get any benefit from those. All right, you know, my rating's actually going up. Which is surprising. So we're doing something right, even though it looks very panicked. Alright, off we go with you. Goodbye, my friend. Um, one of our lions just matured as well. Yeah, and <laughs> just in time, I need to get rid of him. We've got nine lions now. That's very cool. Very, very cool. Where are the lions? So we've got you, you're the main adult in the house. And then we've got you, you're a young adult with a very good stats. But unfortunately, <laughs> that is some statistics. I've got so many conservation points. I'm going to get the best animals ever. The whole place glowing up slowly but surely. I think there's still, still too many... Springbok. Springbok, what have we got? Grade 3 for you guys. Grade 2 for you guys. Let's do 
on grade 2 for you. You guys should have grade 2, but you don't yet. Wait, where are my spring blockers? It's, wait, where are they? It's these guys. Oh, wait. I should probably get rid of one of the males. I wish there was a search tab on this page. There's a lot of, so we need to get rid of one of these. Scared of you. Okay, that ratio problem is now fixed. Well, you're not going to fight for alpha status because there's... Oh, wait, is there another male? No, there's not. Wait, there's one. The other male is is an infant, so he can't fight for... He's got a pride and a half. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, there is there's, there's this young adult. Okay, oh, his fertility gene's gone. He was probably an inbred lion, so <laughs> he's out of the park. Okay, is that research complete? Thanking you. Alright, where was I? I was on... So they're thirsty. They're hungry and mostly thirsty. Toilet needs are pretty good, so they just need more food and drink places. Alright. I didn't actually get any new blueprints for these. Um, let's see, have we got... Any cool looking shells. You know, I dig this. We can just drop in this shell here and just get two new shops in there. What is this? And that's a very cool building, but it's a bit over the top. Uh, yeah, you know what, let's use that new world. Okay, cool. So, where is it? New world. Large shop shell. We'll add that in there. We're going to add drinks and some more food there. So, facilities. I don't remember having... Right, we don't, def I don't think we have a Mexilent. Mexilent! Like Mexican, but it's excellent. Drop you in here. Excellent day. So we've got two food places there, but it's fine. And now... I think we've got a coffee shop, actually. What animals supposedly escape now? This... You know what? This guy... He's not escaped! Alright, that's it. You know what? How did... How... I don't understand what's going on with him. He keeps emptying my park out. It's disgraceful. Alright. Let's get on. Oh, you know, I can check, actually. That's what the smart thing to do would be to check my facilities. The gas we got. Mostly gulpy soda. So, yeah, we've got a lot of the same stuff. We need to, like, we need to diversify. That's what we need to do, I think. Um... I mean, there's high, although there is high demand for all of them. I don't know if it really matters what they are. Um, but we can get a Street Fox coffee. I think more diversity would help, though. It would make my guests happier. Let's go for a Street Fox coffee. There we go. So that's just a, you know, I'm going to put another one of those, that exact same buildings on the other side. Somewhere. So we've got, and we've got facilities all the way along there, along there. Facilities under here, under here. Could fit a shop in here. Diseased animals, always. Let's chuck in. Chuck in a facility. Let's go for. Let's go for another drink. Let's go for. Let's get a smoothie shop in here. We could actually squeeze in two shops here. They have little paths, but that's fine. So now we just go for one. One make it look neat. Now we've got the blueprint. Let's get the shell on that. Do 
Jump straight in. Now we probably need to fire some members of staff. So we're going to have too many. We're going to pause the game here for a sec. It's gone staff. And let's fire some vendors because there should be some vendors now. We have a lot of vendors with... Actually, there's none that are... Uh... There's none that are idle, that I can see actually. So they're all working hard, so just keep training them up, really. We got some resting, but that's about it actually. Most of them are on the work, on the go, so that's fine. Oh, put a toilet down this end. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, oh wait, a toilet there would make sense. No, yeah, you guys meant probably over here actually. Uh, let's just let's just let this play out for a sec. Why is our rating gone down? Guest education rating is through the floor right now, so we need to get some more education in the house. But before we do that, let me see if I can get a male. See, look, this is glitching out. I might have to. I might try and restart my game because it says I'm online, but I can't access my animal trading, which is kind of holding me back a bit here. We'll get there eventually, though. Let me see. Animal trading. Animal storage. Alright, can I just move you? Something's definitely glitched out here, which is a worry. Oh, there we go. Harry, communicate with server. Well, I'm streaming at a high bit rate, so, you know. How we look? Looking. Toilet ratio we're pretty covered on. Thirst, hunger, energy is good, happiness is good. So it's just, it's just hunger and thirst and education. People are dumb right now. People dumb dumb right now. All right, facilities. I guess it's habitat. No, it's surely not. Uh, let's just see that wall of conservation. Like, should we add another wall of conservation? I mean, why not just just add it there? There's like no reason not to. I want everyone to know about the conservation. It fills the space nicely. Go for that. Just, just pick these all random as anything. Um, we can get most of them in here. There we go. So I think the idea is is just to place these around everywhere. Like duplicate this, and let's just let's just place them in. From a video I watched, it said like just, just, just yeet these in everywhere, and you'll be living good. Is what I heard. So let's just spam these in around the gaps. Get people's education up. This is like an especially good kind of arc to put them on where there's a lot of uh, footfall. Alright, one, make this two, make this three, make this four, make this one five, make this one six, make this one, I don't know, uh, that one. Alright, where else can we add some of these boys in? We can get some in here. Trying to get these people edumacated in my zoo. Sorry, this is not the most engaging, but you know, you gotta put that work in. Nothing, nothing ever comes easy. Alright, let's go for the bottom one. Go for a two from the bottom. For three from the bottom, and see if our education rating starts to start to rise up. Okay, we'll let that play out a little bit. Um, okay, that research complete. Cool. All right, 
How about some some animal trading, please? At least let me move things out my animal storage. Come on, game. Don't do me like this. There's no other way I can get animals in. I might try a quick game restart, just see if that fixes it. If you guys will bear with me, I can I can pull up the chat and read some of your message while we do that. Because I've been focused on the game like mad. Alright, let's let's restart the game. Let's see what up. See it what up. Indeed Z's. Extend the reindeer fencing right uh, next to the pathway on the corner curve. Okay, I think I know what you mean. I'll try that when I get back in the game. Uh, we got any super chats in the chat? Thank you, Nobody Epic4321 with the 100 Danish kroners. Said, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Math, with the, with the $2. He said, yo, Vickers, and now some bot game with the $5 too. Um, you know what? I'm starting a new series on uh, Cosmic Sky soon. So Minecraft will be returning. Um, so once I kind of get my five star rating on here, that will be my kind of core series for this channel. So if you want to hop on the sky, Mefferson, we may see you on there. Um, but yeah, good to see you tuning in. Also, if you guys missed the How to Minecraft animation I posted like two days ago, please go and watch it. It cost $3,000 to get it animated. It took them way longer. It was supposed to come out while How to Minecraft was still going on. It didn't, and now it's flopped. It's got like 50k views, so... I'm not even going to make like a tenth of it back, which is feels sad, so... It would make me feel better if you share that animation. It's a good one. It's like the first time I've ever done a 10-minute anim animation. I thought it was going to bang. I thought it was going to do like two, 300k views, and it's on 50,000. YouTube hit me with the, with the Shrek. Alright. Add Christmas stuff to the reindeer and close it. Yeah, I mean, I think there is. I think I'll have all the stuff I need. Join the reindeer fence to the other fence. I don't know if it will let me do that. I mean, I could try it now, actually. Okay, you know what, actually? If this stays in place, this could actually be a dub. Because that looks way neater. Way, way, way neater. That could be a dumb. But more importantly, what could be a dumb is actually moving my reindeers into place. Oh my goodness. Guys, the game's glitched. How? I can't move any animals. What am I Has anyone got any ideas or am I just scuffed here? Because that's a real feels bad. If so, I mean, we haven't done exactly badly. You know what? Let's actually... Connect that up there. And the reason I I could curve this to match, actually, you know what? I'm going to need more viewing areas, so you know I am going to. I was going to have some facilities in there, but you know what? We can actually, we can make do without. Looks a lot nicer having this matched out nicely. Could just do it like this. That, yeah, it just, it did look a bit weird having it cut short. Um, yeah, we got some scuffed animals. I mean, we'll see if our education rating goes up. I mean, if I just go on, if I buy all the marketing, would that boost me closer to a five stars? Because that's the goal here. We want a five stars here. We're about it. I mean, like, is my zoo about to go mad here? Or do you have to, oh, you have to pick one of these. All right, on comedy. Let me buy more. It's, it's, if this is that damn bongo again. He's not escaped once. He's just climbing on the roof. Alright, we need to... I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Is he getting stuck in that gap or something? Alright, let's try, let's try and fix this problem. Right, like maybe he's getting stuck in that gap is my only suspicion. So I'm going to make this more connected here. Alright. Okay. I just realised I scuffed the roof on the inside because they were connected. 
Now I just go in here. Delete that one. All game. Hold it together. At least we're not crashing every 10 seconds. Okay. You can see how, how bad it is when I make my own shelters, but these were the early days here. Hopefully that is now, now a solution to that. Oh, you can only have two campaigns at once. So let's stop that. Let's go for one of the more expensive ones. Start that. A 5k and a 2.5k. I like the idea of viral videos, even though realistically I should be doing the high impact. Okay, we're, we're, we're four and a bit stars. I need to get this guest education rating up. I just don't... Why are y'all stupid, huh? I need to drop this down, I think. Let me get the thing. Oh, it's not going to let me get the speaker, is it? Alright, animals fighting for alpha status. Probably, oh, well, that's what I can get. I need to release him from his cage. Coming out of his cage and he'll be doing just fine. Gotta, gotta be down because of one and all. So we've got... It is the females, isn't it, that fight for... Uh, females are actually the alpha. Alphas in uh, hyena communities. At least one of my comments said that. I hope that's true. So I just sold one. I think it is that. I think that's the way it goes. Okay, these guys are chilling now. They're just doing a climb. How are we doing? We're, we're, yeah, we're four and a half stars. So, okay, I was looking at, yeah, what we're going to do. I can't access that speaker, can I? Because that's in there. All right, let's move that out of the way. Let's turn down the speaker. So it doesn't overlap. To be fair, that was probably damaging my rating. Put the roof back in place. Job done there. Okay, now let's keep it on the education. Everything's greened up. It's looking good. Um, no overlaps. No kind of bad states. Um, just trying to see where we could do with some more. We could get some more. I think it's in these gaps, like maybe like here and here. Here and here. We could do with some other boards around here as well. Let's see if that makes a difference we need. Why are you in a box? Get out of the box. Anyone else in a box today? Why is your welfare not spot on? I think there's too many of those guys, actually. Let's see. Let's see. Or maybe they don't have enough room. Um, social. Why are you not happy? Nutrition issues. So what I can do right now is I can go on the staff, hire a new keeper, and then well, the ostriches are in breeding. I don't know what you want from me. Let's set you onto the the mandrills. Now let me go to you. Um, make sure that you're just a feeding dude. Give you a bit of training. And then there's the new one that I hired. So you're going to have no work zone. You're just going to be roaming. And you are going to be set to just feed anyone that needs extra feeding. Hopefully. Hopefully that will stay all good. Alright, we're doing a lot of our research now. The antelope's going to have more. What animals are we not that researched for? Um, okay, let's get 
Charad on the Buffalo front. More research complete. I don't know what items. Four items over one new species. I don't know what I'm unlocking. But now I can go on this habitat. I mean, we needed, like, even if I can't get any new animals in now, it's not ideal, but we probably needed some, uh, some just some administration time. Now, why are those guys in such good food, huh? So, can we get better food for these guys? Now we've got grade three for them. Select this exhibit. Grade three for you guys. We got money for days. You're on grade three. That barrier's a little damaged, but it's fine. Okay. Oh! We're so nearly there. We're so nearly there. We've nearly made a huge dub. You know what? I think if I just put educational stuff around these sides, we are pretty chilling indeed. Um, 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 um. Have we nearly achieved our, our goal for the series? I mean, money's flying in. Alrighty. We have nearly hit peak success. Uh, let's get one of these on here. One there. More on the left and right here. There we go. Um, you know, let's get off this. Get a bunch of these in. One, two, three. One there. All right, let's activate all these. Two, one, and two, three. Park about to be popping. Four. Start grabbing these randomly now. So nearly there. We got some people to say hello to. As if I needed more conservation points. Alright, can I get these reindeer in the house? That would be most wonderful if we could. What do you mean? Alright, I mean... Can I, can I put an arctic wolf in the house? Right, I'm just going to try and adopt loads of animals and hope that I can put some of them in somewhere. Alright, I've adopted all those guys. Oh my goodness. Well, this is, this is a pretty key feature to break on the game. I can't lie to you all. I'm kind of tilted. Oh wow, crocodile has matured, but that's fine because there was all the little ones in here anyway. What the? Okay, he's been moved to where he can actually move around. He's going to be too big to move around, isn't he? Can you even explore your enclosure? Or are you too too big? Oh, you can. You can indeed. Well, unfortunately, guys, um, I'm a bit stuck <laughs> right now. I'm going to try and go to the main menu and come back and see if I can put in an animals. But kind of the next thing I want to do is I want to put some animals in. If the game won't let me, I'm a, I'm a bit stuffed right now. I'm almost at five stars, so next episode we could make it there. Um... But yeah, we're struggling here. Maybe if I move an animal in, it will like unglitch it. 
Dun 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 dun. I'm trying, I'm trying to play the game, guys. I mean, it hasn't been an unsuccessful episode. We've bumped up our rating fairly significantly. So, that's okay with me. But, yeah, we're, we're definitely getting there. I mean, if I just put more food and drink places, that would probably get me over the edge as well. Because they're still kind of hungry and thirsty, aren't they? But if I, see, I can see overall guess are, yeah, I might ever get more drink places that would, could potentially push me to the five star. Alright, let's see. So let's see. Okay, I'm just going to pick you as an example. Alright, no, not Simba. Alright, send you to the trade center. I'll say it's okay. Sable antelope needs to be released to the wild. Sable antelope. One of the males. There we go. I mean, 5,000 conservation credits kind of is a credit to our success. All right, in my animal storage, we got you. So you can move. And now can you move? What? Okay, is why can't I move any of these? I mean, I'm adopting all these animals, but it's not. It's glitch. It's big glitch. No! Well. This is, this is, this is very sad. Uh, let's call the keeper to get these guys fed. Um, well, I can't really keep playing the game until this is fixed. We are literally on the verge of five stars as well, which would have been my finale point. Um, if this gets fixed in the coming days, I'll keep getting on and checking every day. Um, if this gets fixed, then there'll be a finale episode where we get the reindeers in. We make it to five stars and we do a tour of the park. I mean, if it isn't fixed, then this is the finale, as, as sad as that is. Um, unless... Yeah, no, it won't even let me give me the option to move them. Like... Let's see, unless, unless I select an animal like this, can I move you? So I can move you to a different enclosure. And that is, that is its own habitat, that's habitat 35. But the thing is, any new animals I get in, my trade center, these guys can't move. You don't need staff enclosed to an exhibit to move them in. I can't, e I can't even move them into any exhibit as well. It's actually legit broken. Seriously? Because look, I can't even click move and like move them into this habitat or anything with any of these. It's like any of these animals. I, I, this whole, this whole animal story is broken. Which is. Kind of the keyest part of the game you could have. Which has kind of tilted me, because... We can't... Pl and this doesn't work all day. I was trying to mess around earlier. Um, so, that is the end for this episode. Hopefully not the series. Hopefully this is fixed soon and we can do a cool finale. But if it is... Um, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been an amazing series. I've had a lot of fun. Building this zoo out. It's now getting to a point where it's kind of like... It's less entertaining. This is not escape. It's getting less entertaining because it's just kind of rinse and repeat. Uh, just because of the scale, I'm constantly selling, buying animals. I've got like unlimited money, unlimited conservation credits. Tons and tons of gas. So, we've definitely overcome the struggle. He even got the damn safari working. I know you can take these things to another whole level. But... Like all series, the viewership on this is dwindling, even though I know a lot of you are absolutely loving it, and I you know, appreciate the support. But this isn't the end. There are plenty of other series. Um, well, this might be the end if this doesn't get fixed sometime soon. So if it gets fixed, that'll be a finale. 
if not, I'm still proud of what I've created and what I've done, especially through all the crashes and bugs. I wanted to quit like six, seven episodes ago when my game was crashing nonstop, but I persevered, I fixed my PC, and we do have a pretty beautiful and diverse zoo right here. So thank you all for tuning in for another episode. I'll see you all on the next one. Also, there's people in the chat saying it needs to be a snow enclosure. No, no, like, unless, wait, unless, unless there is, wait, hold on, unless I'm being really dumb. And there's a different kind of fence for, no, there's, I mean, I can try, let me just try and buy, like, any animal. Let me just try and buy one that's not an arctic animal and see if I can place those in. Unless you need to be in an arctic zoo, but that would be really weird, and I don't know why they would do that. Let's just try and add something. Let's try and get another West African lion. If that's... Okay, now this this could be a last-minute clutch-up on the decision. So, let's see. Can we get another West African female lion? Ah. Don't tell me to put in the new animals you need to make a new zoo. That may be true. In which case, we're not, we're not at devastation point. We just can't use any of the DLC animals, which is also kind of sad. So I'm still kind of tilted about that. So, okay, so... Hold the phone here. So how do you put in the new animals, then? Oh, it's just Arctic animals that are broken. Yeah, that... That is what it would seem. You, I don't know why you are in a box. Okay, crisis averted very, very shortly. Okay, well, we'll have to make this the enclosure for a different animal. Then the reindeers are not happening. We just, we, I was about to, I was about to, to rage quit out, but we're actually, I mean, we've got the Arctic update, but it's not, not going to work. Okay, let's go on the Zoopedia and see what animals... We might want to get instead. Zoopedia up. I think elephants need way more space than that. Let's see. Yeah, they need only 2,000 meters, to be fair. But no. Um, I did say I was going to get elephants, so we could potentially get elephants. All right. Um, well, let's put something in here. Animal trading. Okay, let's just go on species. Let's go on the animal market. Let's go on any species. See which are the highest rated that would go in this enclosure here. Slam an elephant in there. Too big. Although, I will get... Okay, yeah. Bornean orangutan. This is what a lot of people told me to get. It just needs some climbing stuff. Those guys are pretty legit. They live on their own. I think they're solitary. We'll get out of the box then. Um, let's keep going through here. So the orang Bonnie and orangutans have very good stats. Cheetahs are pretty legit, but surely they need a lot of space. Oh, they don't actually. But they're, very, they're similar to snow leopards, so I don't know about that. Don't know about that one. What new animal are we going to cop today? There's the Indian elephant. Fit right in. <gasps> giant pandas. Surely giant pandas. How much space do you need? I love pandas. Yeah. Giant pandas. Giant pandas all the way. Yeah, you know, they can live in that enclosure. Okay. Animal trading. Go for the giant pandas. Panda, panda, panda. Alright, there's only males up for grabs right now. Alright, let's see which has got good stats. Save the pandas, endangered as well, so conservation credits for days. Think a panda it is. Put an elephant in the safari. I don't think it's compatible with the other things in the safari. Wait, let's see what social group you live in. One to ten, so they can live on their own. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll cop, I'll cop this guy with the decent stats. Oh no, 
The deal's gone. Who else has got good stats? That was pretty good. Wait, what do you mean you're no longer available? I mean, their stats are all going to go up as time goes on, so. You're pretty good. Alright, let's move a panda in. Sable antelope needs to be sold. This is just a constant, constant struggle. Get rid of you. Alright, you just need to keep an eye on the panda front. For another panda. Alright, we've got to decorate this place for the panda here. That should be more than enough housing for them. I don't think they actually need clo uh, climbing, do they? They do not. Let's also get on the vets. And get one of them on the... Um, get you on to... Well, you, can you, wait, can you do advanced reset? You can. I don't know what that does, but I'm curious now. Uh, where's the giant panda? Why are you guys in boxes? Oh, it's when they try and escape. Right, you're hungry. Let's call the keeper to get him some food. These guys are just rampaging all over the place. They're massive. Giant panda's in the zoo. Let's get straight on that research. Yeah, let's just get on that. Okay, what do you want, senor? Okay, so yeah, you've got just enough room. Okay, let's get on the train. So we're back on the we're back on the movements here. You want more short grass? Easily doable. I should check. I haven't messed up their habitat too much. Some soil. Now you're happy there, you've got the hard shelter and everything, you just need some, you need Asia temperate plants. But before that, let's get your food and drink in. I think they need a bit of water, let's see where the water treatment is. Oh yeah, we've got water treatment right there. Power, does power reach around here? Okay, we could have the information boards on this side. I'm gonna grab those two and make those glass. Let's put windows with one way glass. I don't know if pandas can climb these or not, so what I'm gonna do is just to be safe. I don't know if they can climb or not, but just to be safe, let's give that climb proof both sides. Oh. Check that to see if there's any other pandas we can bet. Nope. Habitat for a panda. Okay, they like to climb. Okay, they like dog balls. Like a forage box. We could put one. Well, this is probably actually let's do that. Let's do them a little bit of water. Check the water again. Oh no, wait, water's everywhere. Terrain. Give them a little water area here. Let's give them some calm water. It's a bit bigger than I had in mind. Get out a bit. Nah, because they need the land actually. Make it a very, very little water area. That works fine like that. You still got enough terrain? Yeah, it should be fine. Okay. Go back on the habitat. Alright, what do you want? You want... Let's give him a dog ball because I just think it's amusing. There. That's too big to put up there. 
who we want for you. Give him a water pipe. Probably tuck it in that corner there. That went underwater. Now how about there? Get him a oh, ice ball. Some wind chimes by the window. That's that's a pretty cool, <laughs> but that's not useful for pandas. These are all things for panda, red pandas. Give him a, I guess, is he a small animal or is he a large animal? I mean, this would no, because ah, this is this has come up for red panda. So what I should do is actually, so I'm not getting stuff for the red panda. What I should do is I should be going on habitat and filtering it to. Species, giant panda, there we go. Now this is more of the stuff. Surely they like the chimes, I guess. Fire hose ball, herb scent mark on the hill. Tree scatter feeders, you can put that in a tree. Surely, surely they can't use this tree house. Should we try it anyway? I guess the pandas do, giant pandas do climb a bit. They're derpy. That could be like a centerpiece. Let's see if that works out. That could be quite cool if they can use that. Um, we could fit in one of these, but these aren't as nice looking. I quite like that one. All right, they need actual feeding. What do we want for these guys? Some actual food and water. Okay. This is literally what they eat from. Could put that under their little tree house. Hopefully they can get to that. Although it kind of looks like it should be somewhere flat. That's better there. Oh wait, it flattens it for you. Who would have thought it? Okay, so. That's better. Okay. Um, we need to assign a keeper. First of all, let's just see how he's looking. Enrichment. So he's got food enrichment, but no toy enrichment. Oh, no food enrichment, sorry. He's got toy enrichment, but no food enrichment. Okay, so... Habitat. Enrichment. Food enrichment. Have a roll feed. Oh, no. Why do you need so much space? Okay, how about. Don't know why that does that to the train. It's only small. That's fine there. How are you looking now? How are you looking now, big boy? Okay, it should be fine now. Temperature, okay, it needs it needs the temperature down. Check the Zoopedia for you. You like it to be between 2 and 29, so we need some light coolers in here. Red Panda's about to inbreed. Ah, oh, okay, let me fix this. Oh, that's not good. That is your, okay, we need to get rid of Hongkui. We don't tolerate interbreeding in this zoo. You get released to the wild. Has our so these guys haven't got as good stats right now. That trip puts down. We're getting released. That's better. 
And then, last but not least, there is the... There's you as well. Off we go. Let's go on here. Let's up their food quality as well. Okay. Um, habitat. Use some coolers. Okay, I think they buffed the range of coolers because I think you can use them to cool. Yeah, they made these way, way more powerful. I guess that is just on max range, so. We just have that cool down to like 25 degrees. Is that powered? Yes, it is. That should do the trick for him, and then we just need the. Where's he gone? Bunda, bunda, bunda. Okay, temperature's coming up. Alright, now you need some plants. You need temperate Asia. Nature. Plants. Is this already toggled to temperate Asia, do you think? I guess if it's still toggled by species. No, it's not. Okay. Asia. Biome. Temperate. There we go. Alright, what can we get in here? We can get a few little things. You know, I feel like pandas would actually appreciate like a little garden, let's see. Like, I feel like they could live in like a human kind of looking design. Let me see, so... Oh wait, you don't like some of that stuff. He does like these, however, that's good news. Okay, so we're going to have to custom this up. Throw in a, this right here. That fits really nicely there. And you don't like half of this stuff. Alright, let's stick to things on their own. Because this is just showing me when it has one bit of what they might like. Some bamboo is definitely to be needed. I love cherry blossom trees. But we already have some, don't we? Eh, it's just in the middle. Nah, let's keep it green. Let's keep it green. Okay, what are we working with here? Gotta have some bamboo though. You know we gotta. Yeah, wisteria. I think just some general just flowers kind of dotted around. Add a nice little look to the area. Alright, what else can we get? Sycamore maple tree. Okay, we need to not have these lock to snap to surface. Because then they stay upright. Maybe, yeah. Some, I mean, to be fair, they are quite... We do probably need some big trees. That's just a, b a bit bushy. I think I'm thinking. Japanese maple trees. I love these, but... I feel like going like along this line, kind of like a Himalayan vibe. Works a little better. Have these coming out near the water. Just a little more kind of minimal. Ah, here we go. Here's the bamboo. Alright, what different bamboos do we have? I think I'm going to have like a bunch of these like growing out around here. Oh, yeah, like a big bush there. Have it kind of in the water a bit. So I can go and like hide in here. It's probably enough bamboo. Yeah, these are some massive trees. Bruh. Should probably keep an eye on that. So they do like a lot of uh, coverage. And he's liking all the trees that he's getting. 
think like one of those in the corner is quite nice. If you're not for a giant panda, we should probably actually. Uh, are these fences high enough? I might, I might just raise it all up a bit. Just bring it up a bit. Looks a little less out of place as well. Okay, back to it is in nature. Get different, different bamboo as well. a lot of decoration with the bamboo but it's got to look right that's the thing it's got to look right I want to have a little beach tree in this corner it just hides that uh, water treatment as well quite nicely let's go for have that going around not with there Again, I'm a very amateur designer. Bracken. I'll dot it out. Have a tree trunk. I should probably stick to the same kind of trees. So now we can make these two windows as well. Let's make one way glass for the window. And that's on the right way, both sides. Now let's make it climb proof. Don't know if these guys can climb it or not. How are we looking now for you, my friend? Let's look on and see if we can get another panda yet. Female panda? Yes. Not even gonna. Your stats suck, but you guys are endangered, so we'll, we'll take it. Okay, he still needs more coverage. We can do that. It's nice to actually need to do more coverage. Anything else? <laughs> this is called Bloomin' Heck. <laughs> I get it, because it's the Bloomin' plant. It's like, Bloomin' Heck. <laughs> that's... That's V, V, good. Okay, these trees are massive. I really like that. That climbing thing just adds so much to the exhibit. Put some water lilies. Should probably make this water deeper. But then again... Yeah, no, we'll leave it like that. We still need like a lot more tree coverage. So we should probably just go for some big trees now. Come to think of it. What can we get in here? What can we fit? Something that'll sit nicely along this back wall. Got to be careful it doesn't go into that. You know what we can do? We could just have a row of these. Some different heighted ones in there. Make it look a bit more natural, rather than kind of like copied and pasted in. Some little ones in there. You actually need to do something like that just to get different heights to make it look kind of natural. As long as people can't see their stumps away in the floor, you actually get away with it. I should check up on these guys actually. Is your terrain all good? Yep, you're all happy. Less coverage. Where have you got extra coverage from? I mean, to be fair, he's 92%. Wait, he's overall pretty happy. We actually want more toy enrichment for those guys. While I'm here. 
Snow Leopard, Enrichment, Toy Enrichment. I feel like they've lost their toys. I feel like they've like booted them out of their enclosure somehow. We have a scratching post. I don't know if you ever had a fire hose ball, but there you go, have one of those. Are you happier now? There we go. We want some food enrichment too. Food enrichment. Pinata enrichment. Let's give you a rotation live feeder in the back. It's just something to do with that space. Okay, you're back to full happiness. You getting there yet? Still more coverage needed. Okay, okay, but you like all the plants that are in here. That's giving you 5%. Okay. Let's get back on the nature flex. Add bamboo along the back wall, please. I'll give it a go. Okay, you know what? That could have been a shower, actually. Just got to be careful it doesn't run through to the other enclosure. Yeah, this 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 works nice. Okay, it can't go through either side here. Ah, shiz. It's all going through, isn't it? And let me see. Instantly, these guys. This is why you should you should probably usually leave it leave a gap. Let's see. Because now, actually. It's only this that they're mad about, actually. I think we've gotten away with that. Even I don't like that it comes through, but let's see. Coverage is too much. Oh, no, 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 no. They, they're not like they're not digging it. That's the problem with something nice like that. It even touches their environment. We try the other bamboo. Let's see. There he is. Nature. What's the other bamboo? It's okay. Yeah, this is neater actually. We could probably get this added in. Just gotta make sure it doesn't go through even slightly. This side's better to run along. Okay, this is working, I think. In the zone we go. Now we grab this. I think that's actually fine. This is coming through a tiny bit. That's one way of doing it. Alright, how are you guys looking on the coverage front now? There we go, coverage is back to what it needs to be. You still want more coverage, don't you? I oh, know, he's happy. I mean, we can add, like, plenty more, but I think that it looks pretty nice. He is all happy in the hood. The giant panda with other giant panda. Great success. Great, great success. I uh, want some more food enrichment, okay? Habitat, giant panda, food enrichment. Can I hide this in a tree? You know what? I can actually. It's kind of what I want to do. That might just be one of the perfect trees to hide it in. How, how have 12 dangerous animals escaped? How's that happen then? Alright, let me get this placed in. Right there, so it's like in the tree. Oh no, that doesn't work. Alright, just give him another roller feeder. Like on 
place one of these. Oh, wait, no, diseased animal. Oh, okay. What's the problem here? What's happening with all the ostrich? Are they starving? Um, where are my ostriches? <laughs> okay, they're all they're all hungry. Well, look, I'm sure there's somebody on the. Well, there's so many ostrich. Keeper's on route. Where is keeper? You know what? Let's. Oh, we're so close to that five star rating. Let's get another member of staff. Get another keeper. Let's get this new keeper on to the safari. I'll put you on the safari. We just have one on free room. I'm probably going to bump everyone's salaries down the, like, off camera when I get a chance. In ever quest of that five star rating. Because the more efficient everyone is. The happier my guests are, and that is the key. That is going to be the key to getting this five star up in the house. You know what I also need to do? I'm getting the information balls and everything here. And then it is a dub. And we need bins and benches. We get Asian bins. East Asian bins, sure. Let's take some of these on the outside. Yeah, we'll probably get an African bin on that corner. Some East Asia benches around here. Don't know where these paths are ever going to lead, but... Always need recycling bins. Why is that so far off the path, actually? There we go. Now we need... Donation bins. Get one either side. Let's make these black and white like the pandas. Duplicate these out. There we go, and there we go. Now we need the information boards. Alright, board here. On either side. Plant those in. I need speakers. One up in the middle there. One up there. Okay, those speakers have disappeared actually. Point where we can actually access them there. And put one a little lower there. Giant panda, let's give it a range. Goes up to about there as to not overlap this one. What's about the giant panda? Ranged up to there. Just realize there's no power here. No power here. Right. <laughs> Do we need this to be exactly here? No, we could move this actually. Watch out for the negative. Actually. Oh wait, it's a solar panel, so it doesn't even have a negative. Let's get a staff bar.
Let's move that ever so slightly over. Oh dear, are we playing a dangerous game here? Let's, we can get rid of that info board, it's just out, and then we can move this. Ever so slightly over to... Over to there. Why don't we just put a new one in? Just put it right there. Facilities. Bower. You know what, I'm just going to stick it. Literally. Fits perfectly there. There we go. That's all charged up now. Turn these on for the pandas. The pandas and the pandas. Now let's check the education. Education's looking good. Up that just a little bit. Result! Pandas in the house. Absolutely love that. Absolutely love that. Okay, what's going on here? You're let's take you to quarantine. You know, let's just there's just too many ostriches. Let's just sell some because they're getting too hungry. But we're we're getting there. We're getting there with with some late late successes there. All right. This is a good way. Definitely a good way just to farm. Farm up conservation points. I just find any adult ostriches and just just get them gone. I don't think it's too fussy with them. Oh, you are hungry? Oh, go to the wild meat there. Thanks. All right. Look at that, on the very, very bounds of a five-star rating, pandas in the house, look at them go, you love to see it, you absolutely love to see it. We are going to wrap up here, 4,400 guests, park popping off, we almost got dethroned from the entire series by the, uh, by the, by the lack of ability to place the... Uh, those animals, the, the, the Arctic animals. Hopefully that gets patched soon. Thank you all for tuning in once again for another episode of the series. I'm going to save and uh, yeah, we will be back maybe, maybe tomorrow to see if we can crack the five stars. Get the elephants in. That would definitely be key. Thank you all for tuning in once again. I will see you all on the next one. Thanks and goodbye.